Jeff here with the Hot Homestead. Today's video we're going to talk a little bit about the power consumption of that sig cell phone signal booster back there. As you know I did a video about installing that cell phone booster and, and how great it's been on, on, on uploading videos and, and data reception and etc. here off grid. So it's been fantastic by the way. Absolutely a dream. Definitely worth the, the cash. And in fact AZ off grid and I'll put a link down to his uh, channel down below he just did a video about installing his cell phone booster and he agrees it's made a huge difference but so let's take a look at exactly how much power this guy is drawing here so here is my Wilson DT 4G and I'll put the model number down in the uh, description field cell phone booster this is an older model they have a different look today but what we actually see here on my kilowatt is we're running about 8.2 watts and that is real consistent that I've noticed between 8.0 and 8.3 watts per hour so 8 watts per hour if you leave it plugged in all day 24 hours you're just dealing with 24 times 8 that's how much power it's actually drawing now here is here's the neat part about this power booster and I haven't looked into this but it may be something to consider this plug is an adapter it's taking 120 volts and it's stepping down it's a converter it's it's converting 120 volts down to another voltage to power the signal booster so let's take a look at this plug here and see exactly the amount of volts that's coming out of that plug. Now unfortunately, I won't be able to do this one with one hand, so hang on. So on this plug, when we read this plug here, focus in, it says output a plus 6 volts. So that's telling me this, that this is stepping it down from 120 down to about 6 volts. That means this guy here only needs about 6 volts to run off of. Which tells me this, if you were to break into this and figure out which wire is your positive and negative, couldn't you just wire this up to a 6 volt battery and be able to run this? I don't know I'm just trying to think out loud here I'm not gonna do it but that may be something to think about for those of you who are in your RV or those of you who are or off-grid living where power is important to you and you don't want to run your inverter all the time this just might be an option so if it's converting it down to 6 volts they make small batteries that are um, that are for uh, alarm systems and for smoke detectors as a backup. Not the little nine volt battery, but your um, your little smoke detector. Um, those batteries are like six volts, twelve volts, things like that. And I'm just wondering, why couldn't you hook this up to one of them, maybe? and then charge that batteries you know through your solar panel or some other way I don't know I'm just thinking out loud so but the bottom line of this video is to show you how much power does this guy draw he only draws 8 watts an hour so that's awesome now one other question that some of you had because I didn't show it before because I didn't have it installed because there's a metal pole outside that pipe there you run the risk of it being a becoming a lightning rod and you don't want to blow out your your signal booster here so what you have is a lightning arrestor and that's what this is now the sad part is this was separate that's why I didn't install it right away because I had to buy this separate and I don't remember the cost and all that but I had to buy this separate now here, here's what's really interesting they say in the instructions to put it right here. Now, 
what's interesting is so if you notice the way these fittings are here and the way that this lightning arrestor is I can see how the lightning arrestor would fit into the cable but how is it going to fit into that? They're exactly the same. So how is that going to fit on there? So and being in a small town it's more difficult to find this but I did find this adapter here, this connector here and this then will allow me to go into this side here and then also into the signal booster itself just like the plug is just like the cable is now there's another piece that's on here that wire connector there what that is for is that's where you're going to put your grounding wire so you're going to take your grounding wire and you're going to crimp it onto there and tighten up the screw and then that grounding wire has to be grounded so it's either got to go to outside and then into the ground like an earth ground like your grounding rod or it has to go into your your electrical box and connect up with the grounding wires that's in your electrical box there's not much room to add a third wire for this like I could take this run it around the side put it through the box and somehow connect it and I guess I can make that work I don't know how I'm gonna do this just yet or I could send it all the way through the wall and put a grounding rod in now because the electrical boxes I used are the uh, the blue plastic ones being that they're the blue plastic it makes it a lot more difficult because you can't ground it to the box itself you have to ground it to the wiring normally with the metal boxes you can take all the grounding wires ground it to the metal box and it makes it a little bit easier so I don't know I'm gonna to have to get into this and see what if if that's where I want to put the wire that's where I like to put it just because I don't want to drill a hole through the wall but if I have to drill through the wall I will but this is my lightning arrestor it goes right here and then I just gotta take a wire from here and ground it and then I gotta get where did it go then I gotta get this connector here to help put it together so the ground that I need those two pieces right there plus some grounding wire now I can use any solid wire to ground it bare wire or I could use solid wire that's green or red or black or white or whatever as long as I know it's ground so that's about it oh, I better plug this signal booster back in because now I gotta take this video and I gotta download this video or upload this video on YouTube and if I don't have this it will take me days to do it now with this plugged in and all those green lights it'll just take me a few minutes to upload the video now Jeff Arrows on the Hot Homestead thanks for watching and you've been boosted <laughs> talk to you later bye <laughs>